Hello, this is Sean with SAP Press, and today I'm going to show you how to use one of our subscriptions. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to our website at sap-press.com. You'll then want to head over to login, so that way you're into your account. Go ahead and add your information, press login, and then you'll be on the main homepage again. So what you want to do is head up to your library button right up here. Go ahead and click into that. And now you're into your library. So what you'll go ahead and see is some books that we might have already added to your library um, via a past purchase. Um, but what we're interested in is the subscriptions. So to go ahead and add books to your subscription, go up to this orange button right here, click in, and it's going to show you every book that's available to you as part of the subscription. Now I um, had purchased a EI topic subscription, so you'll go ahead and see a lot of business intelligence books here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple to my library right now. The first book I'm going to go ahead and add is actually one of our newest. It's Implementing Machine Learning with SAP HANA. To add it to library, it's really simple. Just click on the button right here, and it's going to go ahead and add it into your library. All right, say there are other topics that you're interested in, but you don't know what books they might be a part of. You can go ahead up to the search box right here. And you can search for something like SAP Lumira. You'll see that we have two books on those. So I'm going to go ahead and add those to my library. I'm going to go ahead and click out now. The, the three books that I just added now show up in my library. And it lets you know that these titles are part of a subscription. Now, out of the books that are in your library, if there's a keyword that you want to look for, you can go up to the search bar up top and go ahead and take a look for something. So let's search for Lumira again. Go ahead and press the search button, and it's going to return the books that include references to Lumira. Um, there's only two results on this page, but you can keep clicking through. Obviously, there are at least 11 pages. And now we're getting into some really detailed results right here. You see SAP Lumira Discovery Edition um, has a bunch of references to this topic, obviously, because it's a Lumira book. You can go ahead and then click in to the book, which will take you into the reader application online. And you can see a couple different things on this page. The first is that you can go um, between pages very easily just by clicking on these arrows. It takes you to the next page, to the next page, so on and so forth. You can also go backwards by pressing the left arrows. You'll also notice a very detailed table of contents to the left here, which you can then click into and see different subsections and even subsections of subsections. These are all clickable, so you can go ahead and click on the section that you're interested in, and it will take you directly to that page in the book. Now, if you really like this and you want to remember it for later, you can create a bookmark so it's always easily available to you. To do that, go up to the Create Bookmark button, go ahead and click. You can add a title and then add a little bit of text as a reminder as to why you wanted to save this in the first place. You need to remember this. All right, so just click the Create button, and it is now added to your Bookmarks tab, which is right over here to the left. Go ahead and click on that, and you will see your bookmark. Now, if you had more than one, you would see them all lined up right along this section here. And as you add more, obviously, you can jump between them really easily. So say I keep reading, I keep going through pages here, and I decide, oh, wait, I, I need to remember how to create a visualization. Go over here to the left, click on the bookmark, right back to that page, and I can go ahead and learn what I need to learn. When it's time to finish reading this book and you want to go learn another book, click on the Your Library button, and it takes you back to the library. You'll see the books down here. Again, all Lumira or machine learning related. Um, say I finished with Lumira. I don't need to know any more. I'm an expert. I don't need this on my library at the moment. I can go ahead and remove them by clicking this X. And then the delete book button. Now, just because I've deleted it does not mean it's no longer part of the subscription. I can just as easily add it back the same way I had done the first time by just heading up top, clicking on book subscriptions, and then going through the search and add to library button. Uh, if you want to read offline, we have an app for that. Go ahead and click on the link in the description below and you can learn more about our app and what it can do for you. 
If you want to learn more about managing your subscription, um, stay tuned for our next video. You can follow the link here, or you can also click on the link in the description below, and that will take you directly to there. Until then, thank you for learning how to use an SAP Press subscription.